if you look at the whole of the Old Testament Jewish prophets when they came they never had a concept of God being father and a son it was always been one God has to be relational in order to interact with humanity and the only way that God can be relational if, if, if he was relational to begin with in the relational he doesn't need to aspect. become an elephant to save the elephants exactly okay can I ask you a, can I ask you a sincere question I just sure. have to thank you it's good to ask you do you believe that God created his creation God created us yes okay would he know what's good and bad for us yes okay so is it necessary for him to enter into his creation is it necessary yeah is it necessary yes why because he has to save us okay for example this phone here yes. this phone you know by looking at this phone you know there's a manufacturer correct okay so is it necessary for the manufacturer to be in the phone to know therefore it has to be external be. that's it so that, exactly so that's what I'm saying so why does God need to enter his creation if he knows what's let me give you an example to save us he does he's in a swimming pool he's dying okay you can swim are you going to jump in and save him yeah I would exactly that's what God does with us no 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 what I'm saying we're dying in our sin so he jumps in for why did he send hang on, hang on. okay sorry he drags him to the side us to the side and saves no, no. Okay. On, on, on this note, before Christ came on this world, when people were dying, did he jump in? Uh, the cross is both forward and backwards. Did he jump in? Did he know anything about Christ? Yeah, you cannot, said, you cannot, works, you cannot, you know, project because backwards. No, you cannot project backwards when they have no notion of understanding that there's a Christ, someone who's going to die for their sins. Even the, the people okay, during Abraham the time and Moses of are in heaven, aren't they? Did, so, did Moses know, did, did, well Moses, did Moses the prophet and Abraham the prophet, did they worship the Son of God and say, you know what, you have to believe in him that he saved us through the death and crucifixion in the cross? Did they it's believe just, that? They trusted God. No, did they believe that, that their no, salvation that is based on, they didn't know. Good, no, my point, exactly. But they trusted God. I mean, it's like, so it's my like point the, is, it's like the Amazonian jungle guy who doesn't know whether there's a God or not. But if he... You know, so how did Paul God save us. them? Yeah, so Paul says um, that uh, uh, they will know that there's a God through creation. We, can all, we all know there's a God if we look around. And if they trust God, they will be saved. Sure. So their safety and salvation was based on what? Was it based on the belief in the cross? Um, they don't know about the cross. Obviously. Exactly, so it's not based so on the cross. It's based on... It's based on what? Submit, uh, on, on this... On this uh, realization that there's a God and they can't do it themselves and so they just have this to is the Islamic concept yeah. 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 I'm glad I'm glad exactly. it resonates in your heart exactly. and your mind exactly. that the Islamic concept which you are now describing is to be saved you have to acknowledge that you have a Lord over you a creator over you who you would submit exactly. and surrender your will to and that's how you will be saved that is Islam and inherently you're accepting that already